On this week's episode of Around the Corner, we're here at Wildwood Lane Tulip Farm. We've got the owner with us, Marlon Wallace, and he's going to show us what it's all about. That's right. Thousands of tulips here behind us. We're going to check them all out. First thing we need to do, though, is grab some buckets. We need to get these guys here. We're going to need them, and then we'll head out there, right? Let's get to picking. We've got about 24 rows of tulips here. They're about 400 feet long. Multiple colors, as you can see, from yellows, pinks, whites, purples. Some are variegated. All over this place, there's so many different things. You can take so many pictures, right? Like these two chairs just sitting in the middle of a tulip farm. It's right? a perfect little photo shoot spot, so I think we need to take part in it for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. So we're, pick, we're picking our tulip. Where is Zach? Where'd he go? Well, we pretty much experienced the tulip farm today. What a great place, unique to this area. If you haven't uh, been out here, they have to come, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it's fun for anyone, right? If you want to come alone, pick flowers, or you can even come take pictures with friends. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've already seen lots of tulips around all of Five Country. It's gorgeous. The downtowns that have them, people's yards that have them. I've been wanting some. Now I know a place to come get them. But well, we just finished up our time here at the Tulip Farm, and as Zach said, we got to pick it. Yeah, absolutely. Look at all of this. Hurry and get out here. Bring your family. This is so much fun. Look how beautiful oh, this is. You did a great so job, pretty. too. Oh, yeah. Just pick so many. Is that how you do? I think that you guys were better at going to multiple rows, and I went down arrow. <laughs> a little heavy on the feet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did. Yeah. I should have bounced around a little bit more. Yeah. Here, we'll add a couple pieces. Oh, can here. I get a purple, though? There you you go. Go. Yeah. Do you want a yellow? Really yeah, I'll take a yellow, too. Okay. Oh, really you're all. Well, we had a great time here at the Tula Farm. Make sure you come out. Bring your family. It's a lot of fun. For sure. Well, we'll see you next time here on Around the Corner. This week on Around the Corner, we're at the JB and John L. Hunt Family Ozark Highlands Nature Center in Springdale. That's right, 32,000 square foot inside this building. Lots for families to do. It's even on 61 acres. Bring your family out here on the weekend. It should be fun. Yeah, massive place, lot to do. Let's go. You're not a turkey hunter. Yes, I am. No, Here we go. Not. I'll give you my turkey no, call not. right now. Close your eyes, All everybody. Right. Close Let's your hear eyes. It. Close your eyes and tell me you're not in the woods right here. Close them. Yeah, a little bit. Sounds like it. I think so. There's an airplane. Oh, love the old natural airplane. One of nature's more precious little fellas. The roly poly. Many hours spent as a youth here in Arkansas playing outside. Here you go, buddy. Oh, getting closer. Getting closer. Bullseye. Bullseye. No one saw that coming. All right, if you want to take your archery skills from inside to outside, you can come right out here at the Nature Center to do it. Yeah, they've got 3D targets right here behind us. They're moving them always, and they've got Sasquatch. Let's go check them out. We got deer, we got beaver, we got ram, big horn, sheep. Black bear. Black bear. Hey, bear. We got razorback. And then way out in the distance, which you said you can see from the interstate, right? I think that's Sasquatch. Yeah. Hey, Sasquatch! Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Hey! What if I push you? Uh, I'm dancing Don't fall. I'm doing it! Look, Bob! Well, I think it's safe to say that this place does a great job of highlighting exactly why we're called the natural state. Right, I think so. You know, we had so much fun out here from the archery to the exhibits inside, learning all about nature. And this is free for your family, so that's great too. Yeah, absolutely. You can't be a nature center and just have everything indoors. They've done a great job of getting you outside as well. Absolutely. So come out here and check it out here in Springville. And we'll see you next time on Around the Corner. Let's go.
On this week's episode of Around the Corner, we're at Rivercrest Orchard in Fayetteville. Yeah, that's right. It's owned by the McGar family who have been farming in this area for more than 100 years. And maybe you've been here for their famous pumpkin patch, but this summer they're doing a strawberry fest and that's what we're here to check out. I'm excited for this one. Let's go. All right, so here we are with the owners of the orchard, Timothy and Dennis. Thank you for having us here today. Yeah, you've got some good looking strawberries over here. Do we have to wait to eat these? <laughs> I think you're supposed oh, to. Oh, goodness. Well, if he's going to go ahead and start eating, can y'all just go ahead and take us on a tour? All right. All let's... right. Follow that us, guys. That is good. That's good. All right, so Dennis, Timothy, this is it, right? What do we got out here? Uh, we have um, mining for gems, bumper cars, our big barn shoot slide. I'm going for the rose quartz. All right, we're going to mine for some gems. Let's do it. it. There, is a, there is a diamond One in here. Million. Oh my I gosh, like this blue what one. is this? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping this here. one. You got it. It's not going to Zach's kids. It's pink. Uh, Go! <laughs> All right, now it's time to go pick some strawberries. What we came here for, we're going to head down to the strawberry fields. Yeah, we're actually going to get a special ride right here on the train that you can ride all during the festival. All right, all aboard! <laughs> Well, it's time to get picking. That's right, strawberries. We're gonna load up with some good strawberries. They're gonna be juicy and sweet, I'm sure. I just know it. Yeah, here we go. So these are our baskets. Okay, so we wrapped it up here at Rivercrest Orchard. Got a whole lot of strawberries that look good, right? <laughs> so good. Zach's been eating them the whole time. But if you want to come do what we did today, you can through the first weekend of June. It'll be every Saturday. Yeah, and if you can't make it out then, then they're going to have a one-time Blackberry Festival sometime at the end of June. And then after that, they're gearing up for pumpkin season. Oh, yeah, the pumpkin patch eat these is coming. Now? Yes, go Let's ahead. Let's do it. All right, that's it for us. We'll see you next time on Around the Corner. So sweet. <sighs> On this week's episode of Around the Corner, we're here at War Eagle Cavern on Beaver Lake. Yeah, this is one of 10,000 caves in Arkansas, Missouri. Yeah, that's right. And you can actually take tours right here. They'll take you inside. You get to see everything, but there's more than that to do here. Yeah, let's get to exploring. We are standing in the largest opening to any cave in the state of Arkansas. Yeah, it's actually so big, it's four miles long. That's right, and Adam here, he's the expert. You know everything, right? Most of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can we take us in? Give us yeah, an idea yeah, of what we're looking at? Glad to have you guys All right. Yeah. Uh, ah, nature. Okay, walking throughout all of this cave, there's a lot of lights everywhere, right? Because man put them there, but what if they were all turned off? Yeah, I, I think maybe we should see what that's like. Adam, hit the lights. <laughs> okay, so complete darkness when the lights are I gone. I mean, can you imagine trying to walk through this? No, I don't think we could make it. Zach, Zach where, where'd you go, Zach? Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Who's touching me? So we just finished up our time in the cave. Pretty cool, right, guys? What was your favorite part? Uh, stalactites. <laughs> stalactites. Well, there's a lot more to do here. Yes. We're not done yet. Everything from some lookouts, some hiking, and even a maze. Yeah, and nature. Onward. Is this stalactites or stalactites? I think it's, I don't know. <laughs> Been in here for hours. I like it. I will admit, I am directionally challenged. What's that way? Nothing. Okay, come on. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm actually kind of lost. You probably see the fear on my face. 
Did Dad make it out before us? No, he made it back in a circle. He's at the start line again. We're here at the Mystery Moonshiners Moonshine. We hear it's the most crooked cabin we'll ever go in. Yeah, gravity gone wrong or someone just had a little bit too much moonshine. Let's go check it out. Find out. He's so oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's so level. She made me do it. All right, well, that wraps up our time here at War Eagle Cavern. Yeah, we had a great time. Lots to do. Bring the kids. Something for everybody, right? Oh, yeah, we had a blast. Like we said, come out if you can and join us next time on Around the Corner. We're hoping this guy's going to give us a ride. You mind? Yeah, I think he's full. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>
Well, we're still looking for that coffee shop, but we came across this really cool brick. Yeah, I don't know the complete science of it, but it's the way this metal structure is with the wind coming through, it makes music. Yeah, let's listen. Hey, that's they're gonna come every morning. <laughs> This is called The Rise. It's a steel workout, 185 steps, 11 flights of stairs is what it's equal to. Who'd want to try that out? We would. What? We're really doing it? <laughs> yes. Can I skip steps? No. <laughs> oh, you're done. No. I think I won, I think I won. <laughs> All right, it was a little bit of a trek, but we found a coffee shop we're looking for. It's right there. Right here, Airtop Coffee. I'm thinking I'm gonna need to get something cold. We did get here just in time. I think I'm gonna go smoothie. <laughs> so we just got our drinks. We secured a swing. Life is good. Yeah, the path continues on from here, but for us, this is the end of the trail. That's right, that's it. We'll see you next time on Around the Corner. Well, here in Five Country, you've probably noticed that bike trails, they just keep expanding across Northwest Arkansas. Oh yeah, the goal here is to connect all the communities together. The infrastructure for that has been being laid for quite some time, which is why you can ride from Fayetteville all the way through Bella Vista, and that's what we want to highlight on this week's Around the Corner. But first, we're going to need the bicycles, right? The folks here at Fad Tire in Fayetteville, they're helping us out with the bicycles, helmets. helmets. For me, definitely knee pads, elbow pads, I think so. I think you're right. We'll Let's go check it out. <laughs> hey, Max. How's it going, guys? Good. You got some bikes for us? Yes, ma'am. Nice. Safety sure. first. Absolutely. Here you go. Thank you. It's a cool bike, Joe. Loving it. Enjoy. Look at this bad Bye. boy here. Thank you. All right, we're starting here mile zero on the Razorback Greenway at Mount Kessler Park. Yeah, this is the main artery that connects Fayetteville to Bella Vista. It's 40 miles of paved biking, walking trails, a part of 162 miles. Yeah, you ready to check it out? Yes, let's get going. All right, so this is the Razorback Greenway, just a small part of that 40 miles, right? Oh yeah, so we're here on the south side of Fayetteville. We got a long ways to go to get to Bella Vista. We've got tunnels, we've got bridges. We're going under the interstate. We're going over train tracks. It's gonna be a lot of fun stuff. High five. Uh, boom, that was scary. The fact that all these cities have come together on this and being able to connect the whole Northwest Arkansas Metroplex is pretty neat. And it's nice, it's done really well. All right, Zach, so we've been riding for a while. How about a little bit of a break? Yeah, I know a spot. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, so it's not just all wooded area. There's a whole lot more to it. Yeah, absolutely. There are so many spots just like this all along the way where you can pop off real quick, a little shopping, a little eating, get you something to drink, and then you're right back on your way. Well, I think we should definitely take advantage of that. Maybe let them explore some of it themselves. We should stop here. Yeah, so that's going to do it for us this week on Around the Corner. We're going to let you explore the rest of the Razorback Greenway. Hey, before we get something to drink, there's a really cool tunnel up here. You want to see it? You want to race? Yeah. See ya! Sharp curve. I got you. Ah! Winner. No, all the way, 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 all the way.
This week on Around the Corner, we're at Terra Studios just outside Fayetteville. Yeah, the glass bluebird, these right here, do you know them? Well, here, they used to make them on site. They would blow glass using this equipment. Yeah, and while they don't make them anymore, before they quit making them to help the environment, they actually made hundreds of thousands. You can still come and get them today, but there's a lot more than just birds here at Terra Studios. Let's go check it out. Not only do you get to admire the art while you're here, but you can actually make some for yourself. Yeah, those classes take place right here behind us. Yeah, artist Rin is inside. She's gonna teach us how to make some sculptures, right? Rin, 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 Rin. Hi, Rin. Hi, Rin. Hey, hey there. Hi. What do you got for us today? So we are gonna turn this delightful lump into one of these guys, one of our classic troll heads. All right, so we wrapped up our projects here. I think they turned out pretty good, right? Yeah. What do you got there? <laughs> I got uh, Frightened Freddy here. Frightened turned Freddy. out pretty good. Love um, it. Mine's a little rough, but we like to call her Jolly Molly the Trolley. Let's just say <laughs> Love it. hers started out rough from the very beginning. Yeah, right away. It did, it did. But you salvaged it. It looks good. I like the bow. Some salvaging the bow. did take place. It, a lot it, of salvaging. It's creative. And, and Joe, yours is good. Yeah, so in honor of the Razorbacks, I got the She's name to get their bear, right? <laughs> Naming them that. So. Yours is definitely the best. You, uh, yeah. you win. So we'll stick these in the kiln. We'll get to take them home eventually. There's lots more to do here on the ground. You guys want to go see? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see what else we got. Thank you. You ready for this? I'm taking your queen. Thank you. Is your that move. A is that a legal move? That's a legal move, your move. No brainer. That is not a legal move. Checkmate. <laughs> There are a lot of neat exhibits here on the ground, like this one. It's a wizard's cave. There's a tunnel this way. Yeah, it's a little dark back here. I also hear some singing, a little creepy. Maybe we see what's going on back here. Zach, what are you doing? I am the wizard king. Well, it's only appropriate that we finish up our time here at Terra Studios, surrounded by their famous bluebird. Yeah, they say this is the most used spot to take photos. I mean, you can see why, right? Yeah, you're gonna love it. There's a lot to do here on the grounds. Bring your family out here. You'll have a lot of fun. You won't regret it. That'll do it for us today on Around the Corner. We'll see you next week. This week on Around the Corner, we're here at the Exeter Corn Maze in Exeter, Missouri. Yeah, it might sound like it's far, but it's just right over the state line, about 30 minutes from Northwest Arkansas. Yeah, everything Full has to offer, you can find right here on this 220 acre farm. Many from five country have been coming up here, experiencing it for themselves over the last 23 years. Yeah, but every year you're gonna find something new. So there's a lot to tackle here on the farm. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Here on site, they have a corn maze and it's unlike anything you've seen before. Yeah, this thing's on steroids. You're talking eight acres here. And look at the height of this corn. It's pretty tall out there. We're about to find out how directionally challenged we are, or if we even are. Right. But if we do get out, we're going to reward ourselves with some of the fun they have here on the farm. You think we can do it? Guys, this is an actual I don't real know. maze. I get lost with Siri. <laughs> Let's try it. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you're just 10 clicks this way. 10 clicks. Can you wait? Oh, goodness. Zach! Come and find me. Zach, what are you doing? There was a guy in here that said follow him. It's because we get high pressure over the day because the ocean takes longer to heat up, but the land heats up quicker, so you get low pressure, and then you get... 
my gosh. <laughs> Get over here! I can see the end. It's just right around this corner. Oh, thank goodness. That took forever. 6,791,000 oh, minutes. I don't think that's how it goes. That's how long it took to get through the maze. All right, now we get to go see what else this place has to offer. Come on, we'll show you. I love those things. Call me crazy. All right, this place is great for the entire family, for a date night, the teenagers, even the little kids. Yeah, they say it's just more fun here. Yeah, and speaking of fun, we thought we'd finish up our time here at the Exeter Corn Maze on the slide. You guys want to race? Yeah. Let's do Let's it. Go. We'll, we'll see you next, next time on Around, around the Corner. corner. On this week's episode of Around the Corner, we're here at Van Zant Fruit Farms in Lowell. Yeah, where you could come inside and shop this locally grown produce for yourself, which looks great, like these apples right here, and even some honey. <laughs> yeah, the growing season is over. Now it's time to reap the benefits of what the Arkansas farmer has sown. The family bought the farm back in 1948, but they've been farming since 49. And now Stephen Van Zant, who owns it now, is going to take us out there and show us how it's all been being done for the past 75 years. You ready? Yeah, ready? where did you get these from? Should we put those on? <laughs> Wait, I'm going to eat that. So one of the really neat things that you'll find here on the farm are these apples right here, the Arkansas Black. They're an apple that was developed in the late 1800s right here in Benton County. Yeah, and you really can't get them anywhere else. Maybe just a couple places in Arkansas, but you can certainly get them here. Yeah, I love. you never think about rare apples and did not only have the Arkansas black, but there's others just from Arkansas. I think that's pretty cool. Should we try one? Yeah, let's do it. Steven says you gotta do the snap. Steven, I would cut this, but there's I don't you know? have, I just got a key. Oh, you got one. Oh, he's got it. how to do it there. This now these are sweet, right? Mm-hmm. And these actually last long. That's why they were invented to they be keep, able to last. They keep and they go through a seasoning process. Nature. Nature. Okay, so we got to check out the entire farm. We got to show you inside where you can buy some good local produce, and it is good, right? Yeah, it's oh, great, it's fantastic. We bought quite a bit of it, right? We but did. the cool thing about it is with all that produce we bought, we can actually do some of the Van Zant's family recipes. So on their website, Van Zant Fruit Farms, you just go right here, you hit Mabel's Table, and from there, you can see Mabel is their grandma, and these are her famous recipes. One Easy right here. peach, upside down cake. How good does that sound? Look, I'm saying they've been farming for a long time. I think the they've recipes, the goodies, I think they right? know how to cook it. I think oh, even you sure. can do this, Zach. I can't, I'll let my wife see it. Sounds easy enough. All right. Only well, four <laughs> ingredients. I think we could do it. Let's try it. Let's All right, it. well, make sure you check out Van Zant, and we'll see you next time on Around the Corner. Wait, here we go. How about you? I don't know what's happening All right, right now. The juggler. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I'm doing it. I'm getting better every time. That was doing it. Again. Did you get that on video, Blue? Yeah, that's okay. Here. No one ever taught me. Sorry. Self taught.
This week on Around the Corner, we're joining in with Arkansas State Parks as they celebrate 100 years. Yeah, there's 52 state parks across Arkansas. We're going to show you Devil's Den, located right in the heart of Five Country. They're celebrating 90 years. Hop on in. Let's go check it out. One of the 15 trails, check it out. If you're last, you're last. All right, Zach, what do you think? Absolutely beautiful, and I'm glad that snake season's over. You don't like rattlers? No, they would live. I'd be, if I was one, a timber rattler, I'd be up in these little mountains. These little rocks, crevices. All right, I made it, everyone. <laughs> Tiffany's here. It's beautiful up here. You can see all the trees. It's a little scary hey, getting down here. A little slick. Hey. So wear shoes what with traction. Hey, Bigfoot. Hey. Bigfoot. hey. Sweating. Oh. Thing. Hey, you almost put this off of Dude. the whole thing. Did we slip a little? Sure. But it's you got to trust in old Zachary. So we just finished up our time on the last trail of the day here at Devil's Den, and we had to stop at one of the most beautiful spots, the Scenic Overlook. Yeah, we just showed you a portion of what Devil's Den has to offer. There's more than 2,500 acres with fishing and camping, hiking. You can even stay in cabins here. It's all here. Yeah, now many of you are probably just like us. We want to know how to get its name's Devil's Den. So we saw it, we asked a park ranger. No one knows, but there are some stories, some rumors out there. One of them being when Judge Parker was down in Fort Smith, criminals may have hung out here. The Native Americans may have said that uh, spirits were in the caves. And we also heard that pioneers, story says, may have told the children to stay out of the caves, the devil's in there. I mean, who knows? Maybe you have your own story of how Devil's Den got its name, and we'd love to hear it. I feel like Zach would still be telling his kids about the devil and the caves. I if it were, though. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. I'm on around the corner. Shelby? Yes. Shelby. This week on Around the Corner, we're big, big on Bentonville. Bentonville, where you can take a 90-minute personalized tour to find the ins and outs of this booming community. We're highlighting the architecture, the art, the food, the history, and the entertainment. Guys, let's roll. Hello there. Hey. Hello, Welcome good sir. Welcome aboard. You bet. Let's go. Honor. Highlighting a culinary experience and history all rolled into one. We've got the Preacher Sun. Yeah, it was the oldest church in Bentonville and they turned it into a restaurant. And if the scenery inside wasn't enough with the wood ceilings and the stained glass windows, it gets better. They have a speakeasy underneath the restaurant and a rooftop bar. Guys, let's keep rolling. We're just getting started. This is one of the most interesting homes in Bentonville. So this home on the corner was the original hospital of Bentonville, and now this is a private residence. Well, every week, uh, through the uh, efforts of Dave and Jenny Mars on Fixer to Fabulous, America gets to see this amazing community on their uh, uh, remodeling show, Fixer to Fabulous. And you can see some of the elements that are pretty typical of a Fixer to Fabulous home, the centered door, the flower boxes out front. And one of the things that they always do in closing the session is she puts out an American flag as a tribute 
to her father and grandfather. Hands up, play my song, you know it'll be okay. okay. Yeah. yeah! It's a party, party in the NWA! NWA. <laughs> On this stop, we're taking a look at art and architecture. This is the Ledger, the first and only bikeable building in America. Yeah, that artwork is called Lakes and Rivers. It's powered by the sun and the wind. Yeah, the smaller fish highlights the 6 million Americans that kayak lakes and rivers in the U.S. in 2006. The bigger one, 18 million Americans in 2020. Also, the big fish, the size of a blue whale. Oh, that's, that's, cool. Pretty, that's cool. pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, the tour ends here for you. We're going to continue on, but make sure you give Big on Bentonville a call. Take your own tour. And after Bobby. That'll do it for us this week on Around, Around the, the Corner. Corner. Stop. <laughs>